The first term of an arithmetic sequence is negative 1, and the seventh term is 35. Determine the common difference. Okay, there are two ways that students like to do this question. So with option 1, we'll use like some type of simultaneous approach. And then option number 2 is we'll use the jump method. Okay, I'll call it the jump method. So with option number 1, they told us that uh, the first term is negative 1, okay, and the seventh term is 35. So what we can do is just take this one. Now term 1 is just a, right? So we can just say a is negative 1. And then for the f arithmetic formula goes like this. So we're just going to go fill this in now. So they said term 7 is 35. Now some learners get confused. Where do we put the 7 and where do we put the 35? They get confused with what goes there and what goes there. So what you've got to remember is that the actual, the term number is what we call n. So that's the 7, okay? And then the value of the term is 35, and that goes here, okay? Uh, a was, uh, I'm just going to leave it as a for now. It's position number 7 goes over there, and then d. Now here's where we use simultaneous. So a is negative 1, so we can put that over there. So we get 35 equals to negative 1. 7 minus 1 is 6. There we go. If you had to go and solve this equation, you should eventually end up with d equals to 6. Okay? Now, option number 2, a lot of learners like to use this one as well, but I think more learners prefer this one. So what you do is the following. You know that term 1, um, term 1 is negative 1. Okay? Then you've got term 2, term 3, term 4, term 5, term 6, and then there's term 7, which is 35. So what they do, the learners that enjoy this one, what they do is the following. They realize that to go from here to here, how many jumps is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so imagine that. There are 6 jumps. Now, to go from minus 1 to, okay, so let's just say that there were 6 jumps. Okay, now how much distance did we cover? Well, we went all the way from minus 1 up to 35. So how much is that? If you go from minus 1 up to 35, that's 36, right? To count from minus 1 to 35, that's 36. So check that out. 6 jumps gave us 36. So what would 1 jump give us? 1 jump, if you say 36 divided by 6, that's 6. And that's D, because what is D? D is the difference between each little jump. So 1... That's a jump, that's a jump, that's a jump. So what we're saying is that each jump, which is D, is 6. And look, we got the same answer over here. So, yep, you must just choose whatever you're comfortable with over there. Okay, now we're going to move on to this one. So it says that what is the number of terms in the sequence if the last term is 473? Okay, so for this one, you write down your formula, tn equals to a plus n minus 1 times d. Now we know what a is and we know what d is. Um, that's a con those are constants. Now they said that the last term is 473. So some learners are going to put 473 over there, and then other learners are going to put 473 over there. You've got to ask yourself, what is this 473? Well, that is the, a number in the term, okay? So that's going to go here, all right? So it's going to go 473, and then a is a constant, which is negative 1. Uh, n, we don't know, and then the common difference we worked out in the previous question as 6. Okay, so now it's just a matter of solving. So I'm going to take this negative 1 to the left, so we end up with 473 plus 1 equals to n minus 1 times 6. Now, you can multiply the 6 into the bracket if you want, but I'm actually going to divide by 6. So if you add these two together, you end up with 474, and then n minus 1 times 6. So I'm going to divide both sides by 6, so we end up with 474 over 6 equals to n minus 1. Uh, what is 474 divided by 6? Anyone? Just joking, I'm putting my calculator. And so that's going to be 79 equals to n minus 1. Take the minus 1 over and you end up with n equals to 80. So that means that there are 80 terms in this pattern. This question says, what is the sum of the first 40 terms in the sequence? And so here we've got the formula sheet. And so we are busy with an arithmetic 
pattern. Okay, so that's either going to be this formula or this formula. But in that question that we've just read, they're talking about the sum. Okay, so, so we would then use this formula over here. So that's going to be Sn equals to n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1 times d. So they want the sum of the first 40 terms, so we can say 40 over 2. A, what was the value of A? We already worked that out. Oh, they, they told us here it was minus 1, term number 40, so we put 40, and then the common difference we got as 6. Go ahead, type that in exactly as you see it on the calculator, and that gives you 4,640.